Hey what is going on guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you what is I think in my opinion one of the best teams I have used in FIFA 16 so far. Um, so the other day I um, I thought I'd try and make a new team, uh, I, I thought I'd go with something a bit different. So I decided to try and make a Russian league team uh, which is pretty different to like the squad builders you'd usually see. Um, like because usually you know you get the the Premier League ones, the Serie A ones, the La Liga ones, all those types. And um, yeah, I thought I'd try something a little bit different. So um, I decided to make a Russian league uh, team. And obviously the player prices in the Ru in this Russian league team, they're, they're very they're very low. Like um, these team of the season players here, they cost about 15k on average. Um, so obviously very cheap. And they're also really good players to be honest. Um, I haven't really used these players before, but but uh, from using them over the past sort of. 10 games or so, they've been really good for me. So um, I've only through the team. Uh, in goal I've got Akin Thieve, I, I think that's a hero card. Um, I think he only just came out actually, but he's pretty cheap. I've managed to pick him up for like 11k. Um, so yeah, it's a really good, really good deal. He makes some really good saves for me. And uh, yeah, he's been really solid in goal. In terms of these centre-backs here, I've gone with this guy. If there's anyone Russian out there, um, I do apologise for my pronunciation because this could be quite um, this could be quite embarrassing. I think his his name is like Berezutsky or something like that. Beriz yeah, so I, I've got no idea to be honest. But uh, he's really solid, uh, six foot two, um, high defensive work rate. And as you can see, he's not the quickest of players, 57 pace, uh, but he's got 88 defending and 87 physical. A really good solid centre back, and um, I didn't find pace to be that much of an issue, to be honest, on centre backs uh, on this FIFA. So, yeah, it hasn't really had much of an effect. Oh, I haven't found anyway. Um, but yeah, great player him. And then I went for this silver team of the season defender, just because he's a little bit quicker, uh, 75 pace. Just in case you know any players get put through on goal, this guy could certainly catch up with them. Um, he's also really solid, you know, 80 defending and 80 physical. He's fit six foot as well, so he's a really good player to play on alongside that um, Berezutsky. Or, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but yeah, two really good centre backs in my opinion. Some of the best I've uh, used in the game so far. They concede very few goals between them. In terms of my right backs and left backs, uh, right back I've gone with Fernandez. He's a little bit more expensive. This guy, I paid uh, like 27k for him. Obviously, I think his price will probably go down towards the end of the team of the season, just because you know people are gonna want to buy the more sort of expensive team of the season players from the from the bigger leagues so he'll probably be a bit cheaper but he's been really good for me as you can see his stats are, really, are just great to be honest um, 85 pace, uh, 86 defending, 83 physical, 76 passing, 75 dribbling really good all round stats, he's also 6 foot 2 as well so he's going to win a lot of headers as, as well which is very useful um, in terms of my left back here Denisov I think that's his name, yeah Denisov um, high high work rates, 88 pace obviously so he's very quick also got uh, very good defending and physical stats, 81 defending, 82 physical and uh, decent passing, decent physical and uh, yeah overall really good solid left back, cost me only 18k which is a pretty good pretty good offer for him to be honest um, and then my centre mids, they're actually really good this, these, um, these centre midfielders they've been like really solid for me, you know up and down the pitch um, and just supplying the strikers and making tackles and all, all the stuff basically you'd want from your centre midfielders. So I've got this guy Zagoev, I have, I have no idea how you pronounce that name, um, Zagoev or some, something like that. But yeah as you can see his stats are really good, um, 80 pace, 85 dribbling, 83 shooting, 87 passing, 78 physical and 60 defending. Obviously he hasn't got the best, um, the best defending in the world but I found in game actually his defending was very good. You know, he made a lot of really good tackles, um, he tracked back, he done all the stuff that you'd want your centre midfielder to do basically and it's very solid in there. Also his passing was great from this guy, um, well, his through balls and stuff were just insane sometimes, like the outside of the foot ones that he'd do. And uh, yeah, overall he's been a really good centre midfielder for me. Witzel, um, also another great player, you might have used him before but he's like he's got all great all round stats to be honest, um, as you can see his lowest stat is 71. That's his pace, but I thought he's pretty, pretty quick to be honest. Um, yeah, so he's been a really good player. And then this guy Naboa cost me only 14k. 
But if you look at his stats, you know, he's like a he's like the Russian League Marquisio, um, in my opinion. Really good all round stats. Uh, his lowest stat is his shooting, which is 74. He's also got 86 passing and there's a really, really good defending stats as well. So he's also going to be very solid in that midfield. And then moving on to my strike force, um, as you can see, I've got Hulk striker. Um, I have his right, right wing or right forward card. Um, you could pick up his striker card, that's a bit more expensive, but I found this guy has got me loads of goals, to be honest. Um, even just having him as his right forward card as a striker, he's been really good for me. And then right forward, I have got Quincy Promes, uh, his team of the week card. He's been really good as well, you know, he's a really quick player, um, 89 pace, 83 shooting, really good shooting, and uh, 85 dribbling, so he's very quick and got me a lot of goals. Um, also Musa, he's in, he's been insane for me to be honest, this guy. Um, as you can see, he's lightning quick, 94 pace, 83 dribbling. He's one of the like fastest players I've used on, on FIFA 16, I think, so far. Um, he's not very, he's not very um, strong, obviously, as you can probably tell. He's, a, he's got 55 physical, uh, 5 foot 6, but uh, I don't think that really matters too much when, when you have a player that is this quick, um, just because you know, he'll, he'll easily get past players uh, with that high high attacking work rate as well, 3 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, really good player. And then obviously Hulk, uh, probably many of you have probably used this guy in FIFA 16, um, he, as you can see he's just got great all round stats, he's a bit like a, uh, a Carlos Tevez in the Russian league, um, not, not quite as quick, but he's still a, a very good player, you know, if you put this guy through on goal, his strength and um, and, and all that stuff that, that you'd want in your striker will uh, hold players off and, and it'll definitely get you a lot of goals. So yeah, that's the team guys, um, I'll run you through the player instructions quickly just to let you know what I have on them. Um, my right backs and left backs, because they are pretty good, you know, all round, they've got good passing, uh, they're pretty quick, good defending, so I have them on balanced attack just so that they can join in with attack sometimes as well. And they also always track back. And yeah, that's worked really well for me so far. Um, my centre midfielders, I have the central midfielder on like stay back while attacking just so that he would sort of sit in front of that back four uh, while you're going forward. And then I have the other two on balanced just so that they can join in. Um, basically just keeps the, the defence solid so you know you don't get counter attacked against if that's a, if that's even a word counter attack anyway so so basically the other guy doesn't counter attack you so you always have this midfielder here just uh, covering in terms of my attacking players um, I tend to have them mostly on balance to be honest except for my striker who I tell um, him to stay central just so you know he's not drifting wide he's just basically in the position that you'd want your striker to always be and um, yeah that's the team basically um, Really good, really good team. One of the best I've used, as I said at the start of the video, um, on FIFA 16. This team is, I think it won me Division 1, um, like a few games ago I won, I won it. So, you know, it's definitely, it's definitely got the ability to, uh, to do very well. So yeah, that's today's video guys. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new around here and I will see you in the next video.